Hi, and welcome to Fusion 360. In the design of any product, there will always be the need for multiple teams to share resources. In the electronic design process, one of the most common examples is regarding collaboration and sharing libraries. It is possible that you will have a team creating and validating libraries while designers are actually using them on their current designs. In this example, ideally, you only want the library creator let's call them librarians for now, to have full access to the library project folder, while those using them, you want their access to be restricted. Before we start, let's just clarify a few points. I like to recommend that all libraries be placed in one project. In this project, you can create folders in which some will be used for 3D models that will be using the map art parts and maybe another one for uploading specification sheets. Let's create a project. I'm going to just use the feature and pin it to easy access finding it. In this project, I'll create a folder where I plan to upload my 3D models and another folder for the specification sheets. I'm going to go ahead and upload one of my Eagle libraries. Remember that Fusion 360 is 100% compatible with Autodesk Eagle. Once the library has been uploaded, I'll open it up and go through the steps of creating a part. Notice how easy it is to access symbols from other libraries and use it in my own library. From the package editor, let's create an LED using the package generator, which will create the footprint and the 3D model in the exact same step. Now in the device editor, we're going to go ahead and associate the symbol that we just copied with the footprint that we just created using the package generator. With the connect command, we're going to start associating each pin to the corresponding pad. Fusion 360 has truly made the process of creating parts very easy and our developers are continuously looking for making this process even easier. I'm going to invite a few of my friends and colleagues to access my library project. After clicking on the People tab, I'll now add their emails. All these members need to have an Autodesk free account. They'll be receiving an email with the link to confirm the share. From the project, click on the Go to Web icon. Notice that Fusion Team will open up into the web version of the project. From the Users tab, now you can assign rights to the project members. Viewer access will allow them to access the library, but they will not be able to make changes to the project. This is a really good scenario for like school professors. That way they could take advantage of this collaboration capabilities by making specific libraries available to everyone in the class without having to be worried that unwanted changes will be done. For your convenience, there is a wiki page tab in which you can consider to use to add detailed information of the library or specific components. You may add pictures or link to existing ones. We strongly recommend that you're as detailed as possible. Thank you for joining us and remember, making your product smart is only a tab away. All this and more with Fusion 360.